Every human is a literal impression of the universe. Every human and every creature that's alive is the universe expressing itself. Like if you map out all the neurons in the brain and lay it out over all the stars in the universe, the way they're all spread out and stuff, it's identical. It's literally identical. It's like our brain is literally part of the universe. It's a little demo of it. Like if a fat person falls and you instinctively laugh, that means the universe finds that funny. Like, you know what I mean? That's why everybody's so, like, pretentious and narcissistic and cocky because, like, everybody is there. Everybody is God in their own way, you know? If there's no other creatures in the universe anywhere else, then we're the closest thing there's ever going to be to gods. In fact, what is a god besides a man-made creation anyways? Um, we're the only species of creature that even thinks about such stupid st stupidity, you know what I mean? I was going to say stupid things and stupidity, but I, I fucked it up. I choked. I choked on my shit. I don't like the way that sounded. I choked on my shit. <laughs> like, I, like, that reminds me of that uh, South Park where Carmen... Sh uh, no, no, no. Randy shits out of his mouth. He eats through his ass. No, Carmen does it first. I'm stoned right now. That This confirms that the weed I bought is fucking garbage. Because I got this ounce of weed, and it looked good, and it smelled like weed, but it just doesn't get me high. I could smoke like four bowls of it, and I'm just sitting here like, did I even smoke yet? So I <clears throat> went into my Keef collector, and I like hit my fucking grinder a bunch, and I like got all the Keef from other weeds from in the past, and I am 10 out of 10 stone right now. It feels like I haven't smoked in... Like, five days is kind of stoned, you know? I, that might be fucking, like, fake CBD weed. But wouldn't that be more expensive to manufacture? I don't understand. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe it did get me a little bit stoned, and I just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember what I was talking about, so that, that's a good sign. But... Oh, I love this song. Um, but that's because of the calf. The Keef. The Keef Collector. That was my name. And uh, I've been, I've played some great games over my lifetime. It's just a shame that the good ones just don't exist anymore. They just don't exist anymore. PvK was awesome. You could uh, attack in like four different directions and block in four different directions. You would have to inverse of whatever they were doing. And it was just, it made for the most... I was a ninja. I was literally a ninja. Me and, like, the other people, like, the pro players, dude, we would, like, we would be so good at the game that we would run up to each other and do a 180 in the air. We would do, like, doing 360s was, like, a thing so that we could hide which attack we were going to use. I would be running away from a group of, like, three pirates full speed, and I would just 180 in one millisecond, ding, and you'd hear a ding. And it's just like, yo, what the fuck happened? Did he just spin around as he was fleeing? Like, I would do spin blocks. It was the fuck. Like, I just knew a sword was about to hit me in the back right there. Ding! And I would continue on my way with the momentum of that source engine. It was just so fucking insane. And then those fucking cunt-ass motherfuckers just removed it and made it automated so that whatever attack the enemy did, you would automatically do the correct corresponding block. And I sent the guy Crazy Fish a death threat. And uh, I guess he didn't take it seriously because he never fucking put it back. He didn't even put the option to put it back. And then I went back years later and I was like, hey, uh, we used to, like, this used to be a real game. A lot of people used to enjoy it. And they're like, what? Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, yeah just block it. They had no idea that, that it was a new generation. They had no idea. It was, it was retarded. Completely ruined the game. War Z was another one of the best games I ever played in my life. And I just, just stopped and just deleted it. It's just gone. It's just because, like, the mass populace of people just aren't elite like I am. Like, they don't understand, like, what's awesome as well as I do. You know, they, they're just not cool. They're just not cool. And I think my impression of the universe is a, is a sound one. And that's why I respect everything I think. My taste in music is just better than other people's. I'm just better. I, I might be Jesus, actually. I might have to look into that. I'm just kidding. I don't like religious stuff. 
in fact, me being an impression of the universe, uh, like my first ever thought about religion and going to church and, and all that uh, religion stuff is, that's fucking retarded. So that's what the universe thinks of it. So when people are like, oh yeah, you're going to go to hell because you're homosexual. You know what? God doesn't care about sex stuff because he's not a fucking perverted weirdo. I, you know, I, I, can, I ask the universe what it thinks. And whatever you think about that thing is what the universe thinks about that thing. So, in a way, you really... Um, everything you do is ordained by the Lord. If, if like, you do something as crazy as super crazy, you run around naked, dog, fucking walk inside a store on your hands with uh, your ass cheeks spread and you're just pooping as you, like, walk on your hands through the store. Like... As crazy as that seems, it would be written in the history books. It's, it was ordained by the Lord. There is nothing on this planet that's ever happened that's shocked me. It's ordained by the Lord. It's insignificant. This period of time, someone was talking about like, oh, when the people of the history books in future, when they write about this time, dude, they're not going to write about this time. This time is going to be included. You know when the history books jump like 400 years and you're like, oh, what happened in between knowing the between those years that's where we're gonna land because this is we're fucking embarrassing these things have been established long ago every nation every fucking creature every species every fucking human nation it, it's always been the males fighting in the wars it's just like when the, who, nobody thought of that idea it's just how it is it's just like men are like coordinated and like can do things we could like run upstairs while sh aiming a gun at something you know like women uh, they're just they're, they don't they're not coordinated they're like it's like all their limbs are left hands you know they're just like they're fucking they're not really built for performance mode you know what i mean and i mean i think being alive is hard and it sucks so like if you want to be a man that's cool i don't know there's nothing there's nothing great about it like, what can you not do as, like, a, a girl versus, like, a boy? Like, you can jump off a fucking bridge as a girl. You can jump off a bridge as a boy. Like, you could go into the army as a girl. Like, you could even fight if you want as a girl. It's like, like, what can't you do? I just think that, by default, every single human has a gland in their brain. It's literally a fact that it, it's part of evolution. It's part of making a better species, like every single person that's reproduced like this it's survival of the fittest over millions of years like those we always are gonna have a we have a literal gland in our brain that tells us we're not good enough we have to do better and there is no point in your life where you're ever just satisfied there li there's no such thing as that there's always someone that wants a little bit something more there's uh, there's never someone that's just 100 percent content and if they say that they're lying, they're all, they always wish or want something more. And, and if they're old, and if they're like old and happy and content, and say they're content, they would say in their brain, "Oh, I wish I was young." Like, there's a literal gland in our brain that says that tells us this isn't good enough. We need to improve. It's literally a fucking survival feature that's like been um, attractive, and literally there's no humans without it now because we. we been through so many years of evolution that everybody has that gland of do better do better do better like and that's why people become drug addicts because that fucking gland is out of control and they beat the fuck out of themselves and humans really fucking have a lot of fucking um obligation installed in their brain like it's no wonder people do drugs and want to turn all that shit off because like we've been pounding and pounding and pounding into our brains for years and years oh gotta do good gotta do this gotta do that gotta please god gotta not feel guilty and it's just like once you start thinking scientifically and like literally like you just need to say hey body shut the fuck up you're lucky i give you food and water three times a day like shut the fuck up seriously Like, you're fucking lucky. I didn't sign up for this shit, you know? I'm taking care of you. I'm the one putting fucking food and water in your fucking holes. You know what I mean? Like, lay off, bub. 
Like, you want fries with that? Easy fucking killer. Fucking wants all these things all the time. You know what's peculiar? Fascinating? Y even though I play video games my whole entire life, all my dreams, I've never dreamt about a video game. I, all my dreams are always me, like, in, like, a fucking, like, a public place talking to people. Now, all my dreams are like that. I think for Billy, we're the first generation to have screens. We're literally the first generation of people spending all their time indoors. People of olden times hated being at home. That Everyone just, like, because there was nothing to do at home. Everyone was in the town being part of town for... We're unlucky. We got the short end of the stick. We're in the one part of civilization that's fucking not with each other anymore. Like, so we're alone and our brains are all fucking emulated and configured to be with people. And now we're fucking alone with our dick in our hand. And it's just like, and everyone's judging us and everyone's scared of everyone else. And it's just like, it, it, it creates for an unhealthy, toxic environment. And it's a lot of people are becoming mentally ill because of it because of this radical change in evolution this this screen yeah that weed just doesn't hit there's just something missing in that weed I might need to fucking see if there's any more keep in the bottom I think I smoked all of it yeah, that was a little bit irresponsible. No, it wasn't. See? Beating myself up again. Can ne never good enough. Never good enough. It doesn't matter. You just... You have to trick the stupid fucking... You have to trick your pounds of fucking mashed potatoes. That's what a brain is. It's just pounds of mashed potatoes. And you have to trick it somehow. Like, this security guard walked up to me the other day as I was in the park. And, like, I... I'm not a crazy person, but, like... The second I turned and, and he was walking at me, like, I, I just, like, I instinctively, like, got this feeling over me, like, <laughs> should I knock him out cold? That's a, that's what I thought instantly, like, I, of course I wasn't going to do it, but I was thinking, like, I could just sleep this guy, like, right now. <laughs> and it was just like, I don't know, like, where does that shit come from? But, like, I'm in the park fucking in my bathing suit doing, like, exercising i'm literally the only one in jacksonville that exercises because people are scared of each other here so i'm in the park exercising alone and everyone watches me because they're pathetic losers and the security guard with like a he's this fucking security guard he's a loser he he has a huge gap in between his teeth um he walks up to me like he's kitted out he's got like a body armor on like a complete fucking lunatic and he just like he holds his vest like but in his brain, he's the fucking, he's the, he's a cop, right? He's a cop. He's the guy. And I'm thinking to myself, like, wh who's the danger here, man? Like, the retarded fucking I insecure guy that needs to be kitted out, like, around people exercising in a park? Or, or me, the naked guy fucking looking for attention, you know? It's just like, who's the sick one here? Who's the sick one here? All you guys fucking looking down at your cell phone, not even knowing what planet you're on? Or is it me? The guy that looks like a fucking stud. You know? The guy that looks fucking right and tight and right. You know? I'm getting sick of YouTube shorts, man. It seems like no matter what video I watch, I get it's like I'm in a shorts fucking feed somehow. It, and it's like it's making me dumber. It's like they're all so fucking gay. They're all so fucked. And then there'll be like a video and some faggot will like take up half the screen and just show his face watching the video. Like, hey, don't forget about little old me. Like, you... how are you all so fucking cringe? I, I, how do you not get sick to your stomach? Like, how is that even... How are you not throwing up all over? This, this video is is in my brain uh, going well, so that means there's a 90% chance the mic's not on. Oh, it's on. Cool. 90% of my videos I delete. 
because there's just the mic's not on or just some it's just joke world i've always been saying that joke world is a hundred percent reliable man joke world i don't even get mad at things anymore like i don't even like hope to be like i don't even like get excited around hot girls or anything anymore and i just fucking and they want me too. girls fucking want me yo i'm just a fucking pussy i, I just like i don't like i don't feel comfortable talking to people it ruins my high I don't like, I don't want to do that. Like, I'm too busy being fucking Tom Cruise over here. Like, I'm Tom Cruise Brad Pitt. Like, you're not going to ruin my fucking 30 minutes where I'm in a good mood every day. You know? Like, I'm not going to fucking make you feel uncomfortable. And Okay, so I was riding my bike the other day, and there was like 12 blonde girls, like a, some sort of like cheerleading team or something. And I'm just riding past them with my music. And um, I'm bouncing my head, and they're all looking at me, and their faces turn red, and they're all, they're all giggling. <laughs> And I just ride past them, and no, I, what did I do? I, I looked at them, and I smiled, because I knew they're, all of them were, like, looking at me. And they were just, like, laughing, giggling. And I continued riding. I didn't stop or anything. I went all the way down to the docks at the end. And I went, and I started doing my, like, exercise routine. I turn around. There's, like, 12 blonde girls fucking just staring at me on the deck. They walked onto the deck together, like, in a pack of 12 girls. Like, yo, I'm, like, an old-ass man. Like, what the fuck? Like... This world we live in is fucking weird, man. Like, like I'm too scared of you girls. Go away. Like, I'm a pussy. There's like a college... There's like a college campus. And I don't... There's a college camp... Uh, what's it called? The fucking, like, LCU or something. I don't fucking know. I don't care about school bullshit. I don't care about fucking anything anymore. Um... But they were just digging the kid. They were digging the fucking kid. And I can't fault them for that. They were... They were picking up what I was... They were picking up what I was putting down. They were watching me cruise around the town. They were... Sorry. But like the second I did that head bob thing and they all looked at me, I knew it was like hook, line, and sinker. I, I just knew that they were going to be fucking trailing on me trailing on me and I feel like I can get any girl I want it's just that like girls are slutty it I'd rather just jerk off now like I'd rather just go home and jerk off like I, I don't know I want like I want to go to like fucking Venezuela or like where, where where's there like a lot of trees and shit and I just want to wear like a fucking straw hat and I just want to be like a simple man but that has a really good gaming computer and just like has pigs and stuff outside and I and just like nobody even knows what bothering people is uh, like you know like like that doesn't even exist like their brains aren't even smart enough to like judge each other that's where I want to live dude like they might like touch my skin like oh yeah he looks different oh, and that's it that's the end of the fucking like we touch your hair oh, yeah. even if you've spent tons of that's where I want to live that's where I want to spend the rest of my life dude fucking uh like in the philippines oh, i'm just kidding i don't know anything about the fucking earth i don't care i don't give a fuck so um let's ask my let's ask the universe let's ask the universe is global warming important should we take care of the earth no fuck the earth for fucking earth's gay there, he's got way more where that came from you know that's what i think He's got way more where that came from. And do you remember 300 years ago? Think about 300 years ago. In fact, we're a noob at being alive. We've been dead for 99.99. .99. We're more experienced at being dead than alive. Do you remember having a bad time 300 years ago? Do you? Because there's no difference between being dead and not alive yet. There's no fucking difference. We might have been alive. We might have a thousand dead bodies here. Like, we might have... We might just respawn. You know? That's what I think. I think we just respawn. But don't you guys ever find it sus that, like, oh, we just so happen to have landed in the best creature. Like, the one that is the best on the planet. Like, don't you ever find that sus? Like, I feel like uh, there's a much higher chance of me being an ant. Right? Like, what is the brain, and, and why do I experience this brain? Like, what? 
the fuck governs that? Every single day I wake up, no matter how many drugs I do and all that shit, I'm still in here. I like, what is this? How is it so consistent? Like, doesn't it ever bug out and all of a sudden a soul enters a different person's body and it's like, oh shit, we woke up on the wrong side of the bed and now our souls are in each other? Like, oh, it's just like, oh shit, now I'm controlling your body. Oh fuck, are the fucking universe fucked up? How come nothing ever fucks up like that? It's got to be something so simple that like when we find out the truth, we all laugh and, and hold each other and touch each other's wieners. You know what I mean? Like something so profoundly simple. That it's just like, oh, then like, and, and everything starts becoming funny and we start like stabbing each other to death while laughing and dying at the same time. Because like, we all find out about the thing. And like, there's no, you know, every, like, in fact, like, th what even is negativity? And you know what? It's fucking weird. How like, even the tiniest creatures, like a little flea. I fucking find on my fucking floor or something like not a flea just something so microscopically small like if you try and kill it with your finger like it freaks out and tries to run away like what the fuck like it's scared like what the fuck um yeah it was so yeah I don't well I just didn't want I just didn't want to sound um gross but I found a flea on my ankle and I took it out I picked it off with my finger. I have like five cats. And I dropped it in a cup of like soapy water. Because there's like in Florida, there's like waves. They come in fucking waves. And then there'll just be no fleas for like. And I have like six anti flea products all against my wall. I, I give my cats baths that it's hard to do. But even the tiniest creature, I dropped the flea in that fucking soap. It hits the bottom of the wall and it's freaking its shit. It's freaking out. Like, you ever see the like the crawfish like holding on to the edge of the fucking cook thing, and it's trying to live? Like, what does the universe want us to know about death? That's so negative. Like, that's one thing that the universe makes clear to us that we don't want to die. And there is nobody that's out. there's literally no such thing as a person that's not scared of death. Is that doesn't exist? You used if somebody's like fucking like old and inebriated and just like not really all there you fucking hit them a couple times with a fucking stick or something they'll fucking they'll respond you know it's just like there's no there's it's just I don't know I don't know I, it's just like I need answers for all this shit life is just too weird and it's like people expect me to get it maybe if this lifespan thing was like a thousand years and guaranteed safety maybe i'd get a job but that's just it just seems like putting all the eggs in, in, in a one basket you know like what if i just get shot by some stupid guy you know like and that's talking to himself on the street corner somewhere or like or just like stabbed or something like you know it's just like just doesn't seem like a sound investment to get a job in this fucking realm. You know what I mean? I'm just not into the whole job scene, man. I'm just not into the, I'm not into the whole job scene, man. I feel a flea right now. Mm, there's no flea on my leg. I never even knew what a flea was in my life before I got cats. I didn't even know they jumped on people's legs. I didn't even know what fleas were. I literally didn't care. I didn't know. And then these things are jumping on my ankles, biting my ankles. Like, what the fuck? Don't get cats, man. Don't do it. And now I'm like landlocked for 20 years. And I already moved once with cats. And then that the only thing that taught me is to never try that shit again, dude. Everything worries me. Even going to McDonald's, I think I'm going to get murdered. I'm like, I pet my cats on the way out. I always have a sense of impending doom. It's like I'm a paranoid person. Tones and I, dude. This song is just unif- This song- Every once in a fucking while, a song just comes out that just shreds apart the universe. 
But like, how did this fat fucking retarded looking bitch write that shit? You know what I mean? Like, who even is she? She's like, looks like a Karen that like you'd see in like a fucking exercise place. Like running on the treadmill, like walking slow on the treadmill, you know? Dance with my, dance with my, dance with my, uh, uh. I don't see, I don't see nothing to do with my group before. Uh, uh. And I dance, monkey, dance, monkey, dance, monkey, whoa, 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 whoa. And when I dance, monkey, dance, monkey, dance, I wanna fly. That song fucking slaps, dude. That song fucking slaps. Alright, have a good night.